Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Mike with West Hill. Today I'm going to talk to you about our power distribution products that are used in DAS environments. Uh, West Hill is a full service provider of AC and DC power distribution products. Uh, primary points are that they are all approved that are uh, the wireless carriers and wireline carriers. Uh, they are all go through a uh, complete UL and NEB certification testing and all the products are made in the United States of America in the Chicago, Illinois area. Okay, the two different categories of products are uh, on the top product is a DC distribution panel. Uh, supports 12, 24, and 48 volt plants. Uh, there's a variety of different types of fuses that people use. Uh, GMT, KLM, TPA, they are all basically uh, use different ranges of uh, current that they can pass before uh, they would blow. All these products are 19 or 23 inch rack mountable or can be mounted inside a cabinet and uh, we have quite a few options as you'll see. So regarding the product um, we have GMT product fuses uh, panels, uh, various different configurations, 5x5, five, 10x10, five by five, by uh, 15 by 15 And what that really means is you have a dual bus system. Uh, you have an A and a B bus. Normally, your A bus is connected to a rectifier system for, uh, from your AC to DC power plant. And the B is normally used for battery backup. Uh, so you, if you are to lose commercial AC power, your system won't go down. Uh, the KLM fuses are a little higher rated. Uh, they're 30 amps versus the 20 amps. And the TPA fuses go all the way up to 50 amps. The combo panel has both GMT and TPA for applications uh, that require both low and high current requirements at a site. Our uh, breaker panels or TPC panels are also uh, again, for higher currents, 125 amps. Type 70 panels are most commonly used in a, a utility company environment. Most of their plant is 130 volt uh, DC. They're a 10 amp rated. And then we have an AC breaker panel, which is a modular uh, panel that's used uh, usually inside uh, cabinets to convert, um, to support your AC distribution to sub devices. So as an example, uh, for DAS builds, uh, you have uh, you know, head-end equipment, you have fiber optic multiplexers, uh, you have other devices that you want to sub-10 power to. So from your main rectifier bay, you would run your, your power over to your, uh, your primary inputs on the fuse panels, and then you, you, uh, each one of these uh, positions is its own individual circuit. So you, you basically are providing uh, individual fusing like in your home to different outlets and circuits in, in different rooms so that in the event you have a power fault you don't take everything offline just the devices that are connected to that individual uh, fuse panel. Uh, this one is a 10 by 10 panel the one on the right is 15 by 15 and that just means that you have 15 individual or 10 individual circuits per bus. Uh, the one in the middle is a single bus the 1112 so uh, those are primarily designed with all your connections on the front because depending upon the installation you may have uh, racks that are in the middle of a room or in some cases racks that are against the wall and you want all your terminations and connections on the front of the panel product. This is an example of a very busy uh, DAS location and this one uses the combination panel so again you have you know, your GMTs are uh, up to 20 amps maximum current, your TPA is up to 50 amps. So you basically have, uh, you know, depending upon the device complement, you have the ability to power or fuse low power and high, high current or low current and high current devices in the same product. So you don't have to have two separate panels. This is another one of our front access uh, only products. Uh, this is a relatively newer product primarily designed for cell sites where equipment in small uh, enclosures are uh, all put up against the wall so all your terminations and connections are on the front. Uh, again this has got an A and a B bus and also normally open and normally closed contact closures to provide a remote alarming outputs to uh, 
whatever management system that you may be using. Uh, again, these products are all um, UL and, and NEB certified and designed to operate in extended temperature ranges for indoor or outdoor environments uh, from minus 40 degrees C to 70 degrees C. Uh, our AC breaker panel uh, is, is primarily used inside cabinets to take uh, AC feed. Uh, normally when you have an uh, outdoor cabinet solution, you need to bring AC power into that. And in the past, people have you know, taken an environmentally sealed cabinet, drilled a hole in the side of it, and put an external AC breaker on the outside of the box. This allows you to bring in, keep that integrity of the cabinet, uh, and allows you to bring this panel in and bring your main AC power in, and then distribute it out. It's modular, so depending upon how many circuits you have, you can put up to, up to four circuits in uh, one panel. It mounts again in a 20, um, 19 or 23 inch rack and uh, also has uh, transient voltage suppressors that are included in there. And again, it all has normally open, normally closed contacts that if you have a circuit that trips, you can notify a remote alarm management system. For uh, higher DC current requirements, we have a 3RU uh, panel. This is 100 amp breakers in it, and it's 400 amps per bus. Very, very high current panel. Um, 24 or 48 volt DC, again, operates in extended temperature ranges, and uh, mounts in 19 or 23 inch racks. Uh, on the horizon, we've, uh, we've got a product in development. Uh, it's an, we call it an intelligent power distribution panel. Uh, and the basic concept of this is to try and allow you to maximize uh, your power requirements and conserve energy. This panel uh, is remote controllable, actually. Uh, you can monitor the status of the fuses. You can actually turn circuits on, turn circuits off. So if you have an environment where you want to shut down certain devices, uh, when they're not in use, you can power them down and conserve energy. Uh, and also, it will give you remote alarming capabilities uh, to know if you have had a fault at a location uh, over either text message or uh, email or um, an SNMP trap alarm. This is just a uh, visual representation. Again, this is a dual bus panel, A and B bus, 10 fuses on each panel. Um, I wanted to also show that you have the ability to go in and look, actually log into the unit and look at the status of each one of the circuits that you're uh, providing um, a fuse against. So you can also set current and voltage measurement alarms and if you are exceeding, you'll have you know, different, different colors that will de uh, depict either a major or a minor alarm for that type of circuit and they're individually laid out on a per per circuit per bus basis. So you've been in business uh, in doing jobs uh, since... So in conclusion, Y Westel, um, our products again, as I said, are approved at all the major carriers. Uh, very good lead times uh, with them being made in the United States. They're, we stock a lot of products as, as um, does Tesco. Uh, they all have um, are entered in IB waves so that you can use them in your DAS designs. Operate in extended temperature ranges. Uh, the UL and the GR certification is uh, is another form of uh, environmental uh, safety standards. Uh, you can improve your network reliability by distributing your individual circuit requirements on a per device basis. Um, again, improve technical efficiency by the alarm output so you, you proactively know that you have a problem at a site versus uh, waiting to have a customer call and let you know that you have a problem. And again, protect your capital investment by, uh, by providing a different, different type of uh, fusing um, associated with uh, those individual devices. So I think that's it, and uh, I appreciate your time and uh, opportunity to let you know about our products.